Rowdy restart. Yeah, I was thinking of that. I don't think there's enough room. Daniel Jr. had a Twitter gif or whatever that was pretty funny. Basically like a Batmobile bad guy car that just blows through the pack. Like, we could do that. Well, all that pure talent you used last night should be able to carry this wounded one here for a couple spots, right? Yeah. Top 10 coming up. And another week of racing and another day of glass case of emotion. And another week of diarrhea for me. <laughs> <laughs> Those bumps still haven't cleared up. <laughs> <laughs> we also got some other stuff coming up on the show today. We got, I think, an interview with Chase Elliott. Yeah, he's going to join us. Yeah. Uh, we've been trying for, for years to get him back on the show. Yeah. And uh, he's, he's not going to be here. He's going to yeah. call in, which is unfortunate. Back home in Dawsonville? No, he is in Mooresville. Oh, he's in Mooresville. Oh, he is. He just didn't want to come in. Today. What? <laughs> that little. I was going to understand him not being in the yeah. studio if he was in Dawsonville, no. but he's up in Mooresville. I stayed where he was staying last oh, night. Oh, my God. And I got my ass here, <laughs> and he didn't want to. Okay. Okay. So, oh, I wish. Way to, uh, I know. Yeah. Way to go, Chase. That would have been. It's all right. We ratted him out. Useful information to have. And he won't know we ratted him out because he doesn't listen to the show. <laughs> um, I noticed you have something new on your wrist. That you don't usually wear a bracelet. What is that? Yes, I don't usually wear a bracelet. But um, it is a little bracelet uh, Cole Swindell gave me oh, this cool. weekend. And it's what military, he gets a bunch of you know stuff from military people. Yeah, like and their um, families. Uh, and, uh, challenge coins and yeah. all that stuff. They do these bracelets for when oh, like, wow. family members go overseas and stuff. And, That's uh, really cool. Once you've passed away. And so he gave me one uh, this weekend in Charlotte when we were there. Yeah, pretty nifty. Pretty neat, yeah. So, did you go to his concert? I did, yeah. I was able to see uh, about the last half of it outside. Yeah. Uh, so it was good. There was a lot of people. It was hot. Yeah. It was super, oh, super yeah. hot. It was uh, a warm weekend. It was a little sweaty. It was very muggy. It yeah. Was. Like I was standing on the grid before the race, and it was, you know, the sun was going down. Yeah. Like, man, I'm sweating already. It mm-hmm. was just like super sticky. At least it didn't rain. That's yeah, all I, care I thought about. it was gonna rain. It's a little drizzle. It started yeah, raining yeah. a little bit during the first stage of the All Star Race or the Open. No, which uh, one, no, which it, was one? The it was the All Star. It was the All Star Race. Yes. <clears throat> and I was a little worried, but then it cleared up. They did a good job of not calling it too soon and being like, "Bring them down, pit road." I hate it when they do that. Um, you should go until someone spins out. <laughs> <Yeah>. Like, <clears throat> there's been so many times to where it's like at Dover, when we mm-hmm. did, like it was raining for ten laps before that. Yeah, the same amount, and then they. Bring us in. It's like just go until somebody spins. Somebody spins <laughs> a moisture, but then they'd get yeah. Because would, where was it? Alive. Daytona, Daytona last year. I that's a track where I don't think you can do no. that. Yeah, because I think it was the Xfinity it, race. Yeah. It rained on the back stretch. Yeah, and they didn't get the caution out in enough time. And it was a like, couple of cars just went. It was like qualifying or practice or something. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was it was crazy because I was standing. Where was I standing? I might have been on the damn spotter stand. And I'm, yeah, it was, yeah. And I was looking out. I'm like, it's raining on the backstretch. Yeah. Like, you know, the backstretch from the, like, the spotter stand is a ways yeah. away. I'm like, it's raining back there. And, of course, they go through it. And it's, like, they all wreck. I'm like, ugh. I was right. Well, that, I, I was sitting in the stands uh, uh, this weekend for Saturday night's uh, festivities. Oh. For the first time in probably, like, 10 years. That's cool. That I've sat there. Yeah. Had a couple of cold beers and watched the race. I can't remember. Better than warm beers. Yeah, definitely is. Um, and when we, you talked about Daytona, I, I was sitting there and I was talking to Matt Strickert and uh, uh-huh. Justin Beatty. They were sitting there watching the Shut race. Up. And we are like, you know what? On these restarts, it sounded a little bit like Daytona because y'all were stuck in a pack. Yeah. And like you go around mm-hmm. and it just had that, like if you kind of closed your eyes for a minute, you'd be like, where am I? Am I at Charlotte? It, well, if you tuned yeah. into like the in car, it sounded like Daytona. Like the yeah. spotters were talking the whole time. Yeah, yeah, they're talking constantly for the first couple of <clears throat> of laps. Yeah, like yeah. And then once, even for like when he got strung <laughs> out, like there was a lot of talk of who had runs, and because like he just didn't want to give up the top of the racetrack. It was when it never got enough. like strung out, strung out. There was yeah. a lot of passing through the field, not really at the front, yeah. but through the field there was. And like whoever got clean air. They yeah. got a couple of car lengths, could just. What did you think of the package, that. Ryan? I don't know. Hot take. Hot take. Oh, great. Thank you for putting me on the spot. Uh, I, I lo- thought I- it was a fun package for the All Star race. Mm-hmm. Yes. I think if you do it at every mile and a half, it's going to be not good. I, think I agree. You can, I think there's a handful of tracks where 
we struggle at more than others that we can go to and, and fix it. Like yeah. you go to an indie. I know they've been trying stuff in indie mm-hmm. for a couple of years. Uh, you know, maybe one or two other places, but I, I don't think you make that the mile and a half package. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're not plate racing. Yeah. It, we do that at Daytona and Talladega. And it's, like I said, it's a fun thing for the all-star race. I know we were bunched up, but most of the time we were just running wide open. Yeah. It's like, well, I, it, th- yeah. I thought it was a more entertaining all-star race than we've had in a long time, but I had tweeted something. I would have liked to have them to use it at a regular race to see if the yeah. if the package even worked for longer than 80 laps. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure we don't really know anything, but I'm sure we'll see it a couple more times this year at least. But, uh, yeah, I don't I don't think it's right for every single big track. Well, and that's, that's the issue that I think you get a lot of people yes. caught up in is they like they see something good and they're like, oh, I yeah. want this for everything. Well, they, like, well, they, they don't not take, necessarily yeah. going to. Yeah. They don't take into account that each track is different, yeah. even the mile and a half, and we literally only ran 80 laps of it. Yeah. That's barely. What? That's not even a truck race. <laughs> That's not even a quarter of the which I mean yeah. you can make the, you can make yeah. the argument yeah. that the races should be shorter, but no, no, because when I walked out of the track, I was like, man, kind of wish this was a little bit longer because it's like you're j- just starting to get yeah, into that, it. Because that, but that was an all star. Yeah. I think the truck and Xfinity races have yeah. the perfect length. I know. Did you? I uh, think me. I think our four hundred mile races are great. Yeah, like the Kansas race. Yeah. 400s are 400 good. 400 lap or 400 miles, like 267 laps. I, I do like the like Phoenix. Perfect. The Phoenix is pretty short. The 312 or whatever. Yeah. So, what's like the working in the sport? Me, like when I'm at the track, I'm like, yeah, shorter race. But then like the fan, like yeah, sitting there, like, like give, me ah, give me all of the NASCARs. Yeah, yeah, I said NASCARs. What? That's a NASCAR, right? Yeah, there. he drives a NASCAR. NASCARs. Yeah, I don't get that terminology. I don't either. I don't. We need to find up a better word for yeah. that. Yeah, like. Oh, hey, you drive a Formula One car. Oh, you drive a NASCAR car. It's just yeah. a, like a NASCAR car. Yeah. Well, they thought they were being <laughs> yeah. cute with the acronym yeah. having car as part of it, but then you can't really say, you have to say NASCAR stock car, right. which is like a weird. But then you're saying car twice. Car twice, yeah. I know. It's like. The, Nas, the, the NASCARs. The NASCARs. <laughs> cars. Yeah. cars. Um, talked about the truck race in, in our sound off the top. We heard uh, Kyle Busch's spotter <laughs> yeah. say, yeah. Uh, Use some of that talent you had last night, because Kyle Busch in the truck race on Friday did work his thirty way through the field. Work his way through the field twice. Yeah, yeah. I was. I, mean, I think his spotter was throwing a little shade at Kyle that maybe he wasn't catching onto. <laughs> I don't. Well, so in the media center on Friday night after the race, he he said this. I'll play this real quick. Can you talk about how you made your way back to the field. Pure talent. That's about it. Uh, my pit crew did absolutely nothing to help me out tonight. My truck drove like, <laughs> but somehow, some way, I was able to get back to the front. Had a blast. Hey, he, had a, <laughs> yeah. he had a blast. Um, the entire press conference, thirty-three seconds. <laughs> yeah, he. Uh, his his crew though did go over the wall too soon, twice in a row. Yeah, I mean, he yeah. has a point. Like, I mean, yeah, he had to go to the back twice. Pit crew didn't help him. I don't know how his truck drove, obviously, but <clears throat> and he has a right to say that it's his team. Yeah. Yeah, he pays oh, yeah. those he guys. Yeah, pay those guys. Yeah, it's like, just like to me, it's fun to hear. I guess that would hear. make you more mad if you're the team owner. Yeah. I don't know. Do you get mad at your pit crew when they make a mistake, or are you just kind of like, huh? I mean, they make mistakes. Like I make mistakes, but I think if you're their employer, yeah, they're like you're their boss, and they <laughs> a little bit more mess up twice. Not and a good you're paying day. Them all this money in the competition meeting. Yeah, you can you can this say week that stuff. At Kyle Bush we're gonna have a working so. lunch meeting this week, guys. Okay, yeah. we're gonna work through lunch. We're gonna figure this out. Yeah, we're actually yes. gonna work all night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's so, going to be a seminar. But I mean, he had a point. I don't know. People were like, "Oh, what a crybaby!" I'm like, "Well, he's paying these guys." To, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's and would, their job. I think people would be favorite. more mad at him if he wasn't upset that about what happened. Like, I want to be honest. I'm not mad about that. I don't. I no. thought it was. Funny. I think that it's funny, and I want more of that. Yeah. Like, yeah. to me, that's personality. Yeah, spoke yeah. the truth, man. Yeah, I that was pretty good. But. Yeah, you, you're damned if you do, and you're yeah. damned if you don't. Because yeah. Jimmy Johnson, for the for the longest while, got called vanilla because he would never say anything, and then you say too much, and now people are give, yeah. giving Jimmy a hard time because Jimmy gets a little salty on Twitter. If you have you followed him lately? Yeah, yeah, yeah. he he sits yeah. on the plane and tweets what did he back say? He said something yeah. to recently. Is, you shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Back to <laughs> you shut your mouth when you're talking to yeah. me. I don't know, man. It's like I'm glad we're having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I like these conversations because I think I, I put some out there at the beginning of the year. It's like, 
race fan. Oh, this guy is so boring. It's like watching paint dry. What do you just mind by yourself? Then you speak your mind. They're like, oh, this guy's an asshole. Yeah. Like, God. it's like, what do you want? What do you want what from me? What do you me? want? I never saw the what notebook. What do you want? <laughs> you want from me? But I, I've yeah. seen, seen the, the meat. Yeah. 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 And I know that's a scene, <laughs> very dramatic scene in the notebook. And it's like, I'm we should, Ryan Gosling. We should have Ryan. We should put him like on a, a green screen or with like rain in the background. Isn't it raining in that shot? And have him recreate yeah. that shot. What do you for want? the interwebs? Yeah what, do you want? yeah, what do you want? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to not say a word, or do you want me to <clears throat> not be not me? Not, huh? then, not be me. <laughs> not be me. Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. We want you to be you. You do you, bud. You do <laughs> you. I want you to be me while you're doing you. I don't know. I'm rambling. That happens from time to time. It's a Monday morning. We're recording yeah. on a Monday. Wolf. After a, and it's, it's yeah. kind of, it looks like it's, it's after a little, Sunday off too. Yeah. Which is always fun. What'd yeah. you guys do? Do anything fun, Kim? Mm, not really. No. Just the dog for a walk. I watched, um, God, Indy qualifying. I, I watched, um, <laughs> you lead a the boring Fast life, Kim. No, yeah. I watched Indy car qualifying. Yeah, yeah, it was for the 500. Yeah. Ed Carpenter. Yeah, it was pulled it. It was actually pretty cool. Hometown yeah. guy. I was surprised how loud they cheered for him. Until I remember that he's from Indy. Yeah. It's like, but, uh, Team Penske did. Yeah, they, they, were, good. they were fast. They were fast. Which was nice. So hopefully they can do good. But yeah, the biggest weekend in racing is, uh, yeah, coming up. It's coming the best up. weekend of day. the year. Yeah. yeah, that's right. What'd you do, Chuck? I went, uh, Friday. Tell us what you did. Friday, I went down to Athens, Georgia. Oh, yeah. Went Sorry, down. I'm not as cool as you. Well, you know, just living that jet set in life, going down to Athens, Georgia, staying in a. You didn't have to work all weekend. No, I didn't, so, which is really nice. Yeah, really I had to nice. work all weekend. Yeah. Got to be go a to fan. Ryan. Got to go to yeah. a concert Friday night. Got to be a fan Saturday night and sat around on my ass and did nothing on Sunday. Yeah. Nice. That's a successful day. Yeah. What did you do? I woke up at. Well, I stayed at the track Saturday night. Oh, did you go to Machine Gun Kelly? I went to that. <laughs> How was that? Was a, I don't listen to any of it. His music. outfit was interesting. He had like a fire suit on. Yeah. Huh. It was weird. It was like, you know, you see those little kids in like the favorite yeah. driver's suit. But it was like, suit. A, wasn't it open? It was like open down the middle. The it was like a yeah. interest, like a two-piece fire suit. Yeah, like he, the crews wear. You know how the crews have two pieces yeah. sometimes? Like yeah, that. right. Yeah, his was, it was a little interesting. But uh, it was okay. He played uh, some Rage Against the Machine. So Did he? Wow. Yeah. Uh, I would have liked ones? that. He played Bulls on Parade. Yes. Okay. And uh, that was, I was like, okay, this guy's pretty good. Uh, they use like a lot of live instruments too. Nice. It's, huh. like, it's not just like beats and stuff, which is kind of cool. But I didn't really pay attention a lot to that. I was in another realm. Yeah. Um, but then I got up and I went to Daryl's house. He just got a new house, so we kind of oh, had a little barbecue a little out there. Housewarming party? Did you give him a housewarming gift? Uh, my presents. I say, <laughs> did he hand out hats when you were uh, there? I stole this one. Okay. Oh. I stole this one. Bubba Wallace doesn't have a speed shop, by the way. <laughs> yeah. His house um, isn't the speed shop. No. Okay. I don't think so. <laughs> uh, but we played, uh, you played Can Jam? Mm hmm. Can Jam's mm -hmm. a lot what is of fun. That? So much fun. Greatest game ever. Yeah. What? Explain. So basically, you have these like two trash can type things. It's, it's plastic and it bolts together, but there's a slit in the front and the hole in the top, and you throw a frisbee back and forth and you try and it's like knock fris the fr frisbee you, golf. If you hit it, you get a point. If you knock yeah. it in the top, you get, you get two points. And then if you hit it in the slot, it's game over. Game over. Yeah. But it, you play, it's like cornhole. You got yeah. a partner on both sides, and it's just really, it's really fun. Do you build the can jams yourself? They just, Do you buy they just, them? You can buy them. You oh. can build them. You can buy we, them. We did in college, we played a game called ABF, How have I which never was heard of this? Anheuser-Busch Frisbee. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and you just sling the Frisbees at trash cans, like metal trash cans at either like end. Frisbee golf. Yeah. And it, there were more the Frisbee people. golf yeah. capital. Uh, we like to sling the disc, bro. Yeah. yeah. You sling? Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. That's, That's cool. And then I got uh, my blowgun out. Uh, I have a, I have a, like a, I have a blowgun. Yeah. Very like, it's like hard, Ace Ventura. Hard, hardcore. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. In the neck. Poison Ooh. dart in the neck. Yeah. We were targeting, which was fun. <laughs> it was good. Did you have any of like the sleeping pill darts that like knock people out? Like, no, I had poison. No, what were so. you uh, blowing out of your blowgun? Uh, well, I have these long wooden tip darts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then I have some serious metal ones that Ooh. were not be being shot. We were not shooting them at each other, by the way. Public service announcement. Uh, <laughs> but I do have these like little tiny short ones with a round rubber end on them. Mm -hmm. And you can shoot them at people. <laughs> and I might have made Daryl bleed out of the shit. Oh. 
Oh, no. On accident. Hopefully he doesn't have a photo shoot or anything this week. Uh, it's, it's on the shin. shin. It's fine. Oh, I thought yeah. you said chin. Oh, no. Ooh, that'd be oh, bad. Yeah. <laughs> no, no face shots. That's what I was like. Oh. No facials. When you said the shin. It's not like he's entering into the bikini contest. He might it's be. coming up this weekend. Uh, that's true. That would yeah. not. I'm picturing Daryl now in a bikini, and yeah. then it's not really. Speaking of a bikini contest, I think I hear someone. Well, oh, buzzing Do in. we want to take a quick break, uh, get a word in from one of our sponsors, and uh, then uh, come back and see if we got somebody on the other side? Well, you know what? Let's take a quick break. We got a word from our sponsors, uh-huh. and then we'll see if somebody's on the other side. Are you the world's greatest NASCAR fan? Here's your chance to prove it. Go to NASCAR.com slash Ford and tell us why you should be inducted into the Ford Hall of Fans. You could win a new Ford vehicle plus a VIP experience through the 2018 Ford Championship Weekend. Uh, great word, again, from our partners. Um, Fine job, sir. But while we were in the middle of that uh, commercial, we had a phone call mm-hmm. from our special guest. We had to put him on hold. He had yeah. to wait through the commercial. He probably not it. pretty happy. He about deserves that. to wait. He said, hey, sorry, we'll get to you. Remember... I know he's waiting. I'm yeah, going to make it way yeah, longer. Yeah. He's listening to all of this. Of when, uh, you know, like you call into MRN or something like yeah. that. And they're like, all right, yeah, we'll uh, have you on in seven minutes. <laughs> I'm just joking, though. That's never happened to me. But it, like, they're like, yeah, we'll have you on like two minutes, and it feels like 30. We yeah. used to do uh, the ESPN Live Hits um, as part of productions, Ask Our Productions. We'd go around and, uh, you know, film the hits for ESPN. Yeah. And mm-hmm. you'd get on the phone with their producer and was like, all right, we're coming to you in five minutes. All right, we're going to commercial. We'll come to you in uh, six minutes and 30 seconds. Wait, you just said five, but... Yeah, right. the timing yeah. is not... You get... They get they throw you into the rundown where, yeah. like, if something runs long and it's... Right. That's live TV. It's live TV. This is a live it's show, so, too. Yeah. This is yes, totally live. Totally. Yeah. It's not edited at all. And I think we should... I think we've been making him wait long enough. Unhold yeah. Chase here. The people's champ <laughs> is on the line. Chase Elliott joins us. Howdy. How are you doing, friends? We're doing great. We're doing great. What are you up to today? Uh, you know, I'm not doing a whole lot today, actually. How about you? I'm just sitting here working. You know, it's <laughs> what <laughs> working folk do. Uh, yeah, you, gotta pay the bills. Hard, you're a hard worker. Yeah. Well, you know, we, we're just happy you called in because you couldn't be here in person. Uh, well. Maybe, maybe we'll get there one day. At, so. at some point in, in the realm of of future times, I think that I will be able to join. Hopefully, if I ever get an invite to the actual studio again. So, I, I, um, we invited you to come <laughs> on the show. Oh well, you are always welcome to join us, Chase. Oh, oh, no, I feel like that's a stretch. That's I've, that's I've, not. I mean, no. we love talking conspiracy theories. So you know, oh, anytime a, we've yeah. got to put like a helicopter pad on the roof of the building, though, so you can just chop her in. That that would be uh, very cool, but. Um, you don't, so I don't know. <laughs> We're right across the street it. from the airport, though. That's true. That is true. Oh, that yeah. is true. No so, excuses. To just miss the runway by a little bit, and you'll be here. Parachute. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's hope not. Is there any new conspiracy theories that you are researching? Uh, you know, I was I was a big time conspiracy uh, theorist. I like to research it and and you know watch videos. I always thought that was kind of interesting. Um, but you know, it's probably been since the last time I talked to you guys about it was the last time I had a conversation about a, uh, conspiracy, I think. There's a conspiracy going around that Mark Zuckerberg is an alien. <laughs> an <laughs> he alien. Looks, he looks like an alien. Yeah. When he did that press conference, it looked like he was an alien. Did you see him, how he drank water? I don't think like I really saw weird. that. I'll have to go back no, and we'll have to pull the video. Did he like <laughs> use two hands? No, he just like, there was like a little tiny glass of water and he's just like sitting there and he's like. And it's like he's fascinating <laughs> him, and then he grabs it like the most straight possible, and then he an alien just like barely like sips it and then puts it back down. I think Very there strange. are aliens among us. Aliens <clears throat> among us. There's lizard people in the White House. So that's for another. Time. <laughs> that was our conspiracy theory. That's for another. Time. What's the girl that that um, I can't think of her name, but everybody claims that she she died like a number of years ago, and she has Hillary like Clinton? a singer, Avril Lavigne. Prince? Yeah, her. <laughs> Avril Levine. They say it's a body Whoa. double. Oh, really? Avril's a body double. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, they say that she died or she's not her anymore and someone's filling her place. Oh, she's only made like one public appearance in the last few years. Well, I mean, she was a skater girl. <laughs> and she said, said see, see you later. later. <laughs> see you later. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. she was married to Chad Kroger. Oh. Wasn't she? Was that the guy? That's the guy from 
Nickelback? Nickelback. 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 Oh, wow. Well, then she Scott probably, is, she probably is not around anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, we have something exciting we're doing. Uh, actually, you, me, and Kim, Saturday. Yes. Uh, yes why don't you tell do. us a little bit about that? <clears throat> well, as you, I'm not telling you. I mean, you should know. <laughs> well, you tell point, the, but, the, the 10 listeners we have. Well, I just want everyone to know that this is a very <laughs> serious thing. I'm, I'm now this... I'm in my second year of being a professional swimsuit judge and um, <clears throat> happy I mean, to to be returning. Do you have any tips for Ryan and I since it's the first yeah. go-round well, for us? For those of you who don't guess. know, they're all three of them judging the uh, Hooters pageant. Miss Hooters oh, yeah. It is going to be held. Miss Hooters International yeah. is going to be held at the Speedway this Saturday. Yeah, we didn't really t- say that. I figured Chase would do it, but he didn't. Hey, so oh, that's what I'm here for. Getting there. I was getting there. It's actually not at the Seaway. It's actually over across the street at the drag the, strip. Yeah. At the drag strip, yeah. First off and second off it's at seven PM on Saturday night and it's free to get in. So it's who doesn't want to come and uh what ap- get, what uh, happens after the uh swimsuit contest, Chase? We'll see what happens is a young man um is gonna come in and, and potentially play guitar and play some music for us by the name of Jack Owen, I do believe. Oh, yeah. Free concert. Not free too shabby. Everything. Why not come out? Yeah. Why not? I feel like, I feel like it's a win-win. Yeah. And then you can stay really? for the 600. Boom. It's, it's the next day. day. It's like a good that, deal. Yeah. I mean, well, I really feel like it. it's... You just party through the you're night. You're destined to have fun. You're destined to have fun, but I know. Hopefully, Kim and I don't mess up in our debut appearance. Yes, Judge. I don't, I don't think you will. I, I think that, uh, you know, you just have to be... You have to be an honest judge, and at the end of the day, you know it's uh, it's a very serious thing. These young ladies have been working hard to, you know, make this. So this is this is a big deal for them. I actually feel like I'm more qualified than either of you two because I actually Ouch. wear I wear bikinis. How do you know that we don't <laughs> <laughs> wear the bikinis? <laughs> this swimsuit of women. <laughs> I mean, racist. I wonder if they he have has a point. Oil. I wonder if they have oil boys. Like a well, cabana like, boy that goes no, in. Like, like the end of Dumb and Dumber. Do you realize what you've done? <laughs> <laughs> that oil them up. Yeah. Oh, well, baby. I mean, we could volunteer, I guess. I'll, if I have to do it, I'll do it. I don't know about you guys, but I since the announcement <clears throat> that we were on the judging panel, I've had an influx of Hooters girls start following me on social media. Really? Yes. Uh-huh. I thought I was special. <laughs> uh, have they been DMing yeah. you? Not yet. Not yet. I'm waiting. They got to see Kim judge them first. And then if she does well, they'll DM her. If if not, they'll slide in. If they're they're mean to them and give them low scores, (laughs) they won't. Just send them to me because I'm not judging. So, you know, I'm equal opportunity. I'll, you know. I will say the girl we've been working with, uh, her name's Monica. She's super sweet. She did feel bad. She was like, I feel bad because a bunch of people tweeted. Poor Chuck, he's not on the judging panel. I was like, Chuck will be fine. Well, I got the sympathy uh, VIP invite. Mm-hmm. Um, but That's just as good. I'm gonna have to. Are you are you accepting the sympathy VIP invite? I already had plans uh, uh, for Saturday night, uh, and like I feel bad. Wow. Like I really, I, I when I got the invite, I was like, oh man, that would be cool to go because mm-hmm. it sounds like a really cool event, and I really want to go, and I really appreciate the invite. Are you going to? Do you? I, I don't. I didn't feel like that was sincere. Oh, uh, he's chuckling. Oh, he's going. Guess where he's going? He's going to Sturgill Simpson and Willie Nelson yeah. concert uh, Saturday night. See, is, that, is that true? I, I knew, not, yeah. I knew oh. the sincerity was not was not of. Uh, it is sincere. You know, actuality. Like, it is sincere. I would like to be there because that sounds like a, it does sound like a fun event. Um, mm-hmm. But I was processing in my mind. Mm-hmm. All right, how much longer is Willie going to be around? That's true. That's an accurate statement. Swimsuit contests are going to be there. They might not. They, they might, might not, not be. They might not be. They might not. But they may not. I think Willie could outlast them. He could. With the, with the way we're headed in, in the just overall state of the world, I mean, they might be wearing one pieces before That's long. That's true. So they I, might I, be wearing jumpsuits. We knows? could be judging Willie Nelson in a one piece. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. We'd be doing that too. Wow, that'd be a hell of a judging contest. That'd be a good contest. Uh, ten. <laughs> 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 Performance ten. Look, eh, seven and a half. Don't they work? <laughs> isn't there like? A portion of it where they wear costumes, I thought, like the preliminary. I don't know, Chase. You have experience with what? With the with, <laughs> with the, the judging? Yeah, the contest. Do they wear well, costumes? I mean, Do they dress not, up? 
No, not doing not doing the one I did. Now, at some oh, point okay. in time, I do think they have to wear something different. But mm. see, I'm I'm the expert in the bikini. Gotcha, platform. gotcha. So there's not a so larping I, um, larping section of the contest. No, well, bikinis only, okay. my friend. Bikinis only. <laughs> bikinis only. I thought they did like a Met Gala session. Do they all wear the same color and kind, or do they get to choose their particular? suit that suits them no i think they actually i do think they get to, to switch it up and you know honestly now that i think about that uh, yeah yeah the, their costume thing was the night before last year so i think i uh i didn't get to see that but yeah they i don't think they were all wearing the same the same thing last year so that they got they get yeah. to speak their mind individuality oh, gotcha. that's great well, i'm excited for it i know I we're too. all excited here hopefully people turn out and watch it because it's out. free. Don't forget it's free. And it's free. I mean, it's free. Okay. I mean, you know, free is typically a uh, a pretty good deal in general. <laughs> and it's the first deal. time they're doing it in Charlotte, which is pretty cool. First time ever. Mm-hmm. Welcomes. Hooters. Hi. <laughs> 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 that was a good uh I wonder if there's going to be there. wings there. I would think. Their wings are pretty pretty strong. They have some smoked wings now that are really Oh, good. really? Man. Yeah. I, I had the the honor of introducing Ryan to some smoke wings last week in Kansas. Yeah. And if now correct me if I'm wrong, but I do feel as if your life changed uh, post consumption. It did. It did. Post consumption and then post um release. Ah. A couple of days later. It changed. The release. It was good. That, that's a key uh uh-huh. we're talking about of, shit. Of, yeah, <laughs> I know. Yeah. It is glass case of emotion. Yeah. We're yeah. gonna talk about that. But it was great. Yeah, if you never had their they're smoked smoked wings. wings. I'm gonna have Man, to try they're, them. They're good. Can't beat them. But can't beat them. Join them. I, I, I yeah. <laughs> Smoke me. I don't know. Do you come on in? Do you just Water's eat warm. the wings until you're full? Like, how many wings do you throw down when you eat wings? I'm lucky to get like a lot. For me, is like ten or eleven wings. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think we when we were in Kansas we. No, I was the first one to order, and I was going to get 10. And then Ryan, you, and Trey were going to get 15. Yeah. Or or something. Yeah, how did that work? And Trey I was, was like, no, there's, you were there's gonna no get, way we can all eat 15. You were going to get 10, and then Trey was like, I'm going to get 15. And then and I was like, well, like I have okay, to get I'll get 15 as well. I said, well, yeah. I guess if you guys get 15, I'll get 15. And I think we ended up eating like 10 apiece. That's so. a good number. 10's a good number. Like it, it, really, it really is, and, and 15 is, is a lot of wings. Yeah. So, obviously, I was not going to let someone else order more wings than I. So, <laughs> I, had to, uh, I had to call his, his bluff, and he, he couldn't handle it, neither could I. So you, you can't be the guy water. when they order, like, 10, 15 wings. I'll take six. No, you can't yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. And then you just get six with a side salad. But like, eight. I think, I think <laughs> eight. What do you say? Six with a side salad. <laughs> <laughs> no ranch. I'm going to do a balsamic vinaigrette. I have a can of corn. Correct. No, it should be great. Yeah. Well, we appreciate you joining us on on the show. Maybe one does day. That we'll, mean you're, we'll does that mean you want me to get off? <laughs> no, I just didn't know your schedule. I mean, we'll that sit means, here and That talk. means you want me to get off. All right. Thanks, guys. <laughs> See ya. Okay. Get off my show. All right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Chase Elliott. Well, that was a great talk with Clyde. Yeah. Good talk. What a great person. Clyde. Even though he's in town mm-hmm. and didn't come to hang out today. What a slacker. I wish, I really wish that we had known that going into that phone call. Yeah. From the unedited version of the podcast where uh, we didn't call him before the show. <laughs> but the edited version where he called in the show, like, I, I wish I hadn't said that at the beginning of the show. Now that we're in the show, right. that I said that. So you know what I did that I did with a thing of the thing. Right. Yeah. Well, you know, everyone should know by now this show's recorded. Yeah. <laughs> and so, I think they know. So Chase called yeah. in before the show was actually. Yeah. Usually they know when it's on. live. We yeah. try and make it seem like it's live. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. TV's a lie, man. So is radio. <laughs> Everything's scripted. Life is reality alive. TV shows. It's not real. Yeah. So well, okay, thanks yeah. for listening, guys. <laughs> We're on a depressing. okay. Oh. We uh, <laughs> we got a hole. We haven't talked about anything. No, on we haven't. List. No. We haven't. Um, here's an interesting one. Which, uh, I think we haven't talked about this before. A woman pooped in a Tim Hortons. I think it happened uh, last week. Oh, there's we got a, some you tw- have the video. We got of some it. tweets about it. I mean, this. Oh yeah, woman, we had suggestions that we talk about it. Yeah. Does the video actually show her pooping? I mean. Yeah, like, and she has the presence of mind to. Uh, oh my god! Like she undoes her uh, sweater. 
she drops it, leans up oh against my. the uh, oh, and I just goes. I don't even see that. <laughs> I want to see it. You hadn't watched it, and then she. Oh threw it. no! <laughs> what Holy! The she threw it. Look, did she oh. get napkins? Yes, yeah, she, she got napkins and wiped her hands. I mean, and uh, she didn't use the paper towel uh, holder. She. Uh, the carbor. Yeah, yeah. I had not seen that. You, I kind of. I kind of want to. I want to witness the whole thing. Hang on. We're running it back. Actual drop. Yeah, I'm not going to show this on the show, but if you can, find it. We're going to watch. Ryan's face and his reaction. I don't want to watch it again. I just want to watch Ryan. The arguing. Yeah. She's arguing. Kinda, she's hanging. Oh, she's, oh, it was yeah. a mean poop. Yeah. Like right here. Okay. She so gets angry. She's angry. She's wearing a. Grab uh, some napkins. Sweater around her waist. Oh, mm-hmm. she still has a sweater. I have time to look away. Yeah. Oh, she has. Here this, comes the sweater. She's undoing the sweater. Yep. Oh, and this she's is where I'm dropping look away. trowel and she is defecating. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and she throws it. That's that's yeah. complete primal instincts right yeah. there. Blech. That goes back to our ancestors. We, you know, we came from we came from apes, well, and that she still has yeah. some of those traits. Well, uh. she asked to use their bathroom, and they said only for paying customers. If you have to go that bad at that point, just go. I would say bathroom. I would buy something. Yeah, like here, I mean, or just go into a gas station. Like I don't. Yeah, they, they, I don't, don't know. go into a Tim Hortons, a fine a fine breakfast establishment. And did they have to? Cl- my question was, did they have to clear out the entire restaurant? I don't know if restaurant's the right word, coffee shop, and like do a, a clean down. It's more than a restaurant. I yeah. would hope they would. I, mean, I would like their sanitation rating would yeah. probably Woof. take a deep dive. If because that thing went flinging back into that the back where cool. everything's yeah. cooked. What if it was like, all right, Billy, Billy, I know it's your first day, but a woman threw shit on us. I need you to go clean it up. I want to interview the worker, the clerk that got thrown at him. I want to know the conversation between her and him. I like, do too. If you don't let me use your bathroom, I'm going to right here. And he was like, can't let you use the bathroom. And she was like, I told you so. Here you go. <laughs> like, you're going to make me do this. Yeah. You th- made this happen. Yeah. I think your indication is when she took up, she had like a sweater tied around her waist. When you take off the sweater, obviously some it's not going in the right direction. Yeah. That's why I would have been like, whoa, 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 fine. You can use our bathroom. But, uh, man, you got to give props to the guy. He didn't cave. Like, uh, yeah. He wasn't like, okay, you can use the bathroom. Because then, yeah. then she's just going to come in there all the time wanting to use her bathroom. True. You know? It's like. Not standing up to the bully in school. I mean, and this happened at like 6.15 p.m. What? <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know Tim Hortons was open that late. Yeah. I mean, man, they're open. It's Tim, Timmy Ho's. It's, it's, it's a coffee it's, shop. It's, it's yeah. breakfast. Don't they serve breakfast all day? I don't know. There's don't one know. on the way to the track in Michigan. That, it's, it's making noise. It's like the Everybody only one. Everybody talks about I, how good their coffee is. It's not it's that not good. That good. Right. I don't you know, know what good coffee is, though? The green <laughs> coffee in the NASCAR building? I'm going to do a little commercial for that guy. What's his name? I don't, don't know. Don't put me on the spot like that. I don't know. I really like and his that mom, guy. I think, yeah. bakes the pastries for I the had place. a pastry this morning. All I know is that coffee is cracked, and I got some today because yeah. everybody's been talking about it, including Chuck. I'm drinking Tim, it, too. Tim was telling yeah. me about it this mm-hmm. morning, and I was like, I need to have some of this coffee, and now I am sold. Mm-hmm. I don't like coffee. Good coffee. Well, this is handcrafted. You're Each cup out. is handcrafted. Really? He's, he was super nice, yeah. too. Well, He's a great guy. He's super great nice, guy. dude. Oh, what a just Shout a out to Crane Coffee. I'm not sure your name. Barista man. Owner. Crane Coffee. Yeah. Mm-mm. Wow. It's tasty. Mm-mm. It's not for the birds. You want to fight like a crow? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of birds and running afoul of the law. Ooh, where are you oh, going? oh, did you see the guy down about- in South Carolina yeah. that wrestled uh-huh. the alligator? No. Now, see, when I first read this, I thought that he wrestled the alligator in, in a chicken yeah. costume. Yeah. He didn't. He didn't do that. that He's apparently been- known for standing on the side of the road in a chicken costume telling oh, people dancing. to slow down. Oh. oh, like he's a public service guy. I thought he oh, was okay. like a yeah. Bojangles <sighs> chicken that's like, come get your chicken biscuit. <laughs> get your chicken. So that's the, like with the sign. That's, that's, that's the Chick-fil-A yeah. Moo, yeah. cow. Yeah, it's a, oh, cow. a cow. It's not a chicken. Cow. Well, Eat I would, more chicken. I'm saying yeah. Bojangles should have a chicken that stands out there. There used to be a, uh, there was like, you ever heard like Liberty Mutual? Mm-hmm. Actually, there's a person in Mooresville that works there and they wear a Statue of Liberty costume mm-hmm. on the side of the road <laughs> and they wave. Yeah. Just wave. Like, hey. Oh yeah. Hello. There's one near my house on Central Avenue and I was driving home one day and the girl that was in the Liberty uh costume just was sitting there like texting on her phone like I hate my life right now. <laughs> I hate my life. Like like I wonder how they get that person. Like is it somebody that works there and is like, All right, Carol, it's your turn to put on the no, Statue they, of Liberty costume. I think they source out if I had to guess. They source out freedom? <laughs> Well, if it's a sign, or liberty. Sp- it's the sign spinner. I don't think that's just like somebody that's working there. I'm not talking about the Liberty Mutual, yeah. but like the sign spinners Some for like sale days. Yeah, pretty tall. Like I like the ones that like sign. get into it and they're wearing like beats. Mm-hmm. So they've got music playing and they just yeah. dance. I would think it'd be fun to be the Chick Fil A cow, 
unless it was like in the summertime. Like that'd be mm-hmm. brutal. Yeah. But in the wintertime, I'd be like, yeah, a little warm little <laughs> little cow costume here. You ever, so Ryan's you ever, looking for an off season job. <laughs> Hey, give Chick-fil-A. me Chick Fil A. Give me free Chick Fil A. Have drink. you ever dressed up in a mascot costume? One time, in, one time in middle school. Yes, yeah. we were. Uh, I went to IHM, and our mascot was the Eagles, mm-hmm. and we had a big Eagles one, and I dressed up in it <laughs> for uh, a pep rally day. No one knew it was great. It's uh, fun. Cause was you that can one of the yourself. ones though that you? It's your own legs for that costume, I, or you know how like usually the bird mascot were like tights. They were like tights, and then just like oh, no. the feet. I went to a Catholic. Cool. We weren't allowed to wear tights. tights. <laughs> uh, no, it was a full like it one piece. Full. Yeah. Like zip me up in the back, put my big giant eagle mm. head on, and ship me out the door. But it's awesome. Yeah, it's it's fun. I'd love to be because you can just something. go out there and you know what Charlotte Motor you. Speedway should. No do? one knows it's you. They should put you in the lug nut costume, like on whatever day you don't yeah. have something going on and going through the camp fields, and people would have no idea that you are lug nut. That'd be awesome. I'm telling you, did we awesome. talk about mascotting on this show before? We have. We have. Yeah. Because yeah. they smell. They smell terrible. The yeah. mascot, when I cheered at Miami, used to share a locker room with us. Yeah. And it was awful. I mean, I don't think there's anything that they can do about that. You're trapped in a costume. Yeah. Like, you can put on as yeah. much deodorant as you want, but at some point, yeah. you're just going to sweat right through it all. Yeah. It's yeah. just going to, it's going to overpower. Not good. Yeah. But, hey, you know, you want to fight a breast gaylord. <laughs> <laughs> We're having a hard time speaking this morning. <laughs> oh, I uh, accidentally tried to combine wrestled and alligator. Uh, uh, turned into wrestle gator. Wrestle gator. Hey, yeah. was, well, the trouble with that guy is that apparently in South Carolina, it is illegal to move an alligator without the Department of Natural Resources there. Even though, like, what if the cops were there. Well, apparently, like, the cops were there, the fire department was there, and. They couldn't get a hold of the Department of Natural Resources, and he basically stepped in and said, I'll move it. Uh, and they were like, I'm going to have to fine you $100 because you're helping the community. They said, while his intentions were That's honorable, bull- you can't move, a ga- it's illegal to move a gator without, That's stupid, because they're protected species. They're dinosaurs. They've been around for a long time. They're going to be they're, fine. Yeah, they're going to be yeah. fine. <laughs> dinosaurs, I mean, sharks and gators. Should be fine. And birds. Both of them have been What about the jets? Long ass time. The sharks and the jets? <laughs> <laughs> the Vikings? <laughs> the You're golden funny. Di- the golden knights? Um, They're in the Stanley Cup yeah, playoffs. Yeah. They're a finals. I haven't watched any Pretty of Pretty badass. I don't. I watched I, a little bit of it. It's like the first team in a long time, like their first year, they're making it to yeah. the finals. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Playoff hockey is fun to watch, though. I will. Hockey in real life is fun. Yes. I enjoy watching hockey in real life. Um, Another thing I enjoy watching, yes, was Deadpool two. Good, you saw it. Good move. I saw it Thursday. I'm yeah. gonna see it tomorrow because this airs on Wednesday. Oh. I'm seeing it tomorrow on Thursday. Yeah. Yes, I'm okay. seeing it on Thursday. Yeah, I did do it. It was hilarious. On your birthday, I'm seeing it. Yeah. Wow. All right. We're gonna have to throw a party. Yeah. A Deadpool party. Was it a Deadpool? Party. Good. It was. I think it was better than the first. Much much better than the first. <gasps> Yeah. The first one was pretty good. First one was amazing. <clears throat> this one I think is better because I think they had more budget to do yeah. more stuff in it. So like there was a lot more action stuff because they yeah. could afford it. And I thought the jokes were a lot funnier too. Are they? Like there's a lot of little puns in yeah. there. And like it was super, I got to see it again to like get make sure yeah. I got all the puns, but I laughed no <laughs> about fell out of my chair laughing like three times in the theater. Mm. It was so I'm excited. If their marketing department has They're any brilliant. reflection of their budget yeah, what they have done. I mean, they yeah. went and did stuff with Manchester United. Uh, they got Indeed. Celine Dion <laughs> yeah. to do a that. full song with Ryan Reynolds doing interpretive dance behind her during the song. That's kind of amazing. And yeah. the last line of it is like, Celine, I'm going to need you to do it again. You're at an 11. <laughs> and this is Deadpool 2. It's a sequel. I'm going to need you at about a seven and a half. Okay. And she looks at him and goes, this only goes to 11. Celine, Celine Dion, and the also, DVDs. You the tweeted thing that. I tweeted about yeah. was really cool. They the raps on DVDs. Yeah, they like redid the covers for all these movies with Deadpool yeah. Yeah. on them, and then on so the back sick. it said, "I'm not in this movie, but I wish I was." They it was genius. They did something with uh, David Beckham too, mm-hmm. which was so funny. Gosh, what were you apologizing? The first what one. were you apologizing yeah. for? <laughs> <laughs> the Green Lantern, the Green Lantern, yeah. and, like, all these names, all these <laughs> movies. So not the fact that I made fun of your voice. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
I'm like, excited I, now. I, I'm, it's really, really funny. Like, I encourage people to go see it. It's, when, it's great. Solo isn't doing too bad either with their uh, marketing. I don't know yeah. see, I so don't know I've seen. They are product placement on Solo Cups. Yeah. I saw that. Stop. Yes. That's awesome. actually yes. ingenious. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. I saw that. I'm like, why have no why has no one thought of that? Yeah. 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 That's brilliant. Get your hand on a solo cup. That looks pretty funny. Uh, hey. I wish funny. I, I wish. So that comes out what, Friday? Oh, does it? <clears throat> yeah. <gasps> yes. Twenty fifth. Yeah. Comes out I'm Friday. I have to go see it with my movie pass that apparently the company's not doing well. What? Because <laughs> everybody's seeing movies. Oh uh, wait, the movie pass company isn't doing well? Yeah. Or the movie companies aren't doing No, the movie pass. Oh, why not? Their why? business model is, is not doing... I just read a Forbes article. I don't you have to read it. Oh, okay. They're going to have to maybe change some things. Can't bring this up and then like just tease it like yeah, that. Yeah, go you know. Google the Forbes article. <sighs> we'll talk about something else. I'll Google I think it was on Forbes or Apple News. I don't Apple, really know. Kim, I'll you're not it. helping. I will find it <laughs> you for you. You are not helping. It we can... is on this thing right here, this link. Apple News. It's on Apple News, but it's a Bloomberg article. I was wrong. You're way off. It was wrong. I don't trust them. Did you guys? I'm, I'm gonna Sorry. I'm gonna switch topics real quick. Mm. Go to the next thing down. We got tweeted about this a lot. The oh, uh, the Yanny Laurel this thing, the and new... then the Green Saber brainstorm What's deal. The, I don't know the Green. Saber I don't know what the Green Saber brainstorm, but the Yanni Laurel thing is just another thing like that stupid dress. Yeah. Thing that Green, happened. Yeah. Green Saber Brainstorm is the same thing. And what kills me about it is, like, these are interesting concepts. But people go, like, nuts over it. Right. Like, the internet kills it. I yeah. did listen to the Yanni Laurel. The first time I listened to it, I heard Yanni. Mm-hmm. All the other times I heard Laurel. I'm able to, to change what I hear, depending on what I listen for. Right. Are you an X-Men? <laughs> <laughs> do you have superpowers? Yes, I do. Are you a mutant? Mutant. You have a superpower. You can change what you hear. Yeah. <laughs> Only I have, you I have hear. Great, I have great sight, too. Actually, my art teacher said that I, she thinks I see more colors than most people. Oh, wow. Mm. How do you know? I don't know how she knows that, but she thinks I see more yeah. colors. That's, that's always interesting. Most people. What like, do we like, listen? I, was, I was trying to pull up the Green Saber Brainstorm one. It's this little thing. So it's that, the same concept? It's the same concept, but it's more I of the... I haven't heard this one. It's more of the you can determine what you want to hear. Play it, because this will be... Ryan and I can say good, what yeah. we hear. Buffering. <laughs> Buffering. No service in this. No, no service in this. Studio. In our bunker. Yeah. We're down 30 stories yeah, deep. Yeah, that's why we hear the, the quarry yeah. blasts. Yeah. People don't realize we actually do this show in North Dakota. Yeah. Yeah. We fly yeah. in. Chase flies us in there. <laughs> yeah. Then he yeah. goes home. Here we go. Maybe. Nope. Not Chuck, quite yet. you are Still. failing. I'm failing. We're just, just keep talking. We're talking about stuff. It'll pop up here in a minute. Did you listen to the Yanni Laurel thing? Ryan? I heard it one time. What did you hear? I can't really remember. <laughs> they were they did it on here's how terrible it is. They did it like on a post game NBA show. Yeah. Oh. Like game was over and they had Chuck and Shaq and everybody on there and they're like did something. What the hell is that? I hear neither. I heard I heard a Airline transmission. Yeah, That's it's a I little heard. it's a little crystal type thing and it says either I don't even know what it actually says. I I hear green storm. I hear she a, a mixture of both. I hear, I, yeah. I heard green needle. Green needle. I heard yeah. green storm. Yeah. Maybe it is green needle. Is green needle or brainstorm? That's what it is. I wrote down saber because you I don't were know. had light sabers. I like on the sabers. Brain. I, know, I swords and such. I also would have liked to have listened to that without knowledge of what I was looking for. Okay, yeah, that's the problem with these things. This Yanni Laurel and this Green Save Light, whatever brainstorm. <laughs> People just need to hear the clip without knowing either of the words and say, "What do you hear?" Yeah. When I think my biggest, and we talked about it, is just how the internet takes this stuff. Yeah, and just just crushes just, it and turns it into like you take the fun. Out of something, yeah, and just you know, it's crush it. Much. I think some of it is like when that dress thing was going around. Mm-hmm. I think there was two different pictures of the dresses. <laughs> like there was a what was it, gold and white, yeah, or black and yeah, blue, blue whatever or it was. And I think there was two separate photos. So there was like people like, oh, I see this, oh, I see this. <laughs> well, the yeah. audio stuff though with the Yanni Laurel thing, yeah. it's frequency. Yeah, and yeah. speed. Yeah, this, this, how fast you're playing yeah. it too. 
because you know like being around race cars your high end is probably not as good if you're not using the best ear protection yeah my hearing hearing <laughs> is definitely not good what <laughs> exactly after being around race cars uh, for so long yeah that's why sometimes and? the audio for this uh, show is uh, when i'm exporting it mm-hmm. like parts of it I catch where I need to boost the DB and yeah. then other parts. It's So if the levels are like this when you're listening to it, it's because Chuck can't hear. <laughs> hmm. Sorry. Chuck's so like, I guess that's good. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Yeah, close enough for government work. Your hearing's bad. How's your taste? Good. This is a transition yeah. to the next topic. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> taste is, hang on, hang on. Still taste. There's a subtle bouquet of pure cane sugar oh. along with some molasses mm. and... Uh, Roasted chicory and roofies. Oh, okay. Whoa. Oh. Wow. <laughs> that escalated quick. That was. I like to do that to myself. Do you to roofie yourself? <laughs> you roofie yourself. Sometimes it's you just got to sleep, you know? Yeah. It's oh. like it's like NyQuil. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, the hummus milkshake. Yeah, hummus milkshakes. That's I am not disgusting. opposed to this. You don't know that. I don't like hummus. Well, they've, hummus? they've made dessert hummus. The chickpea is just the base, and chickpeas right. don't have a solid flavor. Like, you can make brownies out of chickpeas. Okay. I've actually had a tahini milkshake. There's a place in Philly called Goldie. It's a Greek, like a falafel place, and they have vegan oh. tahini milkshakes, and they're f- delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm not going to go to your, your green vegan <laughs> peace bro <laughs> beanie wearing, <laughs> croc wearing You actually would like place. this place. It was, it was Greek, so they have, like, falafel and shawarma and shawarma. Shawarma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> shawarma. Did you ever watch uh, American Dad? Yeah. Yes. And like one episode where they had the guy, the and I just remember it. He just shawarma king. Get your shawarma. That show shawarma gets kind of show gets kind of weird. Oh, very sometimes. very weird. It's yeah. funny though. Yeah. yeah. Seth MacFarlane, man. Oh. Um, <clears throat> well, we should we can get rid. We can get done talking about this on a milkshake. But yeah, we talking can, about American Dad yeah. reminded me of of something. Go ahead. <laughs> stick a pin in it, but or, yeah. Oh well, I was gonna. Oop, I was gonna stick a pin in it, but I'll say it anyway. Rick and Morty, you know, mm-hmm. I'm excited for them. They just got signed on for like 70 episodes yes. from what? Uh, Adult lot. Swim. I still Network. haven't watched that, but yeah. 70 episodes is a lot. That's badass. That's a lot of I think episodes. that happened like <laughs> last week, yeah. right after we recorded or something, because I remember sending out a tweet about that, mm-hmm. and I had to find the perfect uh, Mr. Meeseeks uh, tweet. Yeah. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. I'm going to have to put this on my list. I'm Mr. Meeseeks. Look, Look at me. me. I next, can't do the voice. Next time no, I have I mean, to binge watch. Voice. So it's a cartoon? Mm-hmm. It's, okay. It's, it's an adult. Like an archer cartoon. or one of those. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Family basically about oh. yeah. alternate realities and parallel universes. And, mm, uh, I enjoy that. Conspiracy theories. It's pretty funny. Maybe not necessarily conspiracy oh. theories. Um, but they're, it's little, like, they're like Smurfs. Yeah. No, no, no. That's the Mr. Meeseeks. <laughs> oh. That's Mr. Meeseeks. Um, me. Which the thing that's funny about that is the guy that does... Mr. Meeseeks. <coughs> yeah. Um, he's got, oh, crap. What other voice is he? You are really not good I'm, at teeing I'm not, up the, teeing up I'm not the teeing it up. He not. talks about them before he's done the proper research yeah. for them. <laughs> good job, Chuck. Sorry. Look, it's Monday. That's fine. It's Monday. Monday, Monday. fun day. Yeah. Oh, I'm not allowed to sing. You're not allowed to sing? <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Sorry. I don't know what song that was going to be. Uh, was that the, the Mamas, Mamas and, and the Papas? Papas? Jinx, by the way. <laughs> Do you not know who the mamas and the papas are? Uh, no. I think you would recognize some yeah. of their songs. Yeah. You are still sucking at. Are you totally still sucking. searching for Mr. Meeseeks? Or something? I mean, I see him. I got him, but I can't remember the name uh, of the uh, actual actor and what he did. Anyway, uh, let's move on to another topic. Anyway, I'm excited for it. Yeah. Yeah. Seventy episodes is great. It's pretty much like there's how like many, infinite realities. How mm-hmm. many do they? Is it episodic? Like they release one at a time, or they just drop the whole thing? They do like seasons, so it's like. Yeah. They'll do like 10, ep- or 10 to 12 episodes in the season. But you know how like on Netflix, they drop an entire season. On Hulu, they only release like once, one a week. So I guess my question is. Yeah. I'm not sure how they It's on Adult Swim. Yeah. I mean, you know, they've got seasons yeah. and they, they have like Adult Swim season. and Yeah. I'm not mm-hmm. sure how they're going to yeah. do it. Okay. If they, I'm sure they'll drop one at a time. Yeah. Because they're kind of, they kind of go in chronological order. I mean, what happens in the previous episode affects the next episode mm-hmm. sometimes. I think voiceover artists have kind of the best job. Yeah, for sure. So like be a voice in, in like The Simpsons or yeah. one of those shows. That is, to me, that, that is like my life, ideal job. I think job. that's a life goal. Yeah. yeah. You sit in a room, you talk into a microphone. And it's still acting yeah. to a certain sense. 
Yeah, I mean, light, Lightning McQueen. Who is you that? don't have to uh, sit, though, in like hours of makeup in the mm-hmm. makeup chair. They do that in yeah. post when they're animating. Yeah. Boom. Uh-huh. Yeah. You don't have to be there. Well, it's yeah. um like what, uh, Josh Brolin? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Thanos. I used to have a crush on him. Did the voice, but also did the motion capture for yeah. it as well. So he so got to both. act. That's still, Yeah, that's different, though. But it's, it's more it's, intensive. It's it is cool, more intensive, cooler. but like you can do that. Like the guy that yeah. um, plays all of the uh, Andy Circus, Cer- Cer- he's Gollum. In, oh yeah. yeah! Like he Andy Circus, Cer- yeah. They should have a NASCAR cartoon. Yeah, I know they. There's like a little kid NASCAR one. Cartoon. <laughs> NASCAR, I mean, cartoon. NASCAR cartoon. NASCAR cartoon. NASCAR cartoons. NASCAR cartoons. <laughs> NASCAR cartoons. They did that a while ago. Yeah, yeah but like not. They the should day. do an Adult Swim type one. That's cheeky. Instead of for young kids, it should be for Cars. like teenagers or older. Cars two, it could be on Cars Adult Swim. Some, Cars three, yeah, but that has that's a that's they, more. There's some more, innuendos, but that's more PG. for kids. Yeah, they PG. need to have it like an Adult Swim. Like you know how sometimes Rick and Morty can get pretty like yeah, pretty intense. Or yeah. like Ren and Stimpy. You should do, that. do you remember how Stimpy. how You're bad evil. Ren and Stimpy was? They would do like close ups of like the nastiest yeah. like stuff. Mm-hmm. Oh, that that show freaked me out as a kid. Stimpy. I would like. A Nas cartoon in the style of like Archer, where yeah, it's like dry awesome. humor. Well, it's like maybe it's not like, all about NASCAR. No, it's like it's, it's like their lives can, outside of. Okay, let's let's do yeah, this let's do fast. this. We're gonna base it in the seventies. Ooh, okay. we're gonna base this thing in the seventies, where it's just you got old old Joe over here, mm-hmm. just going to race his car on the weekends during the week. What does he do? <laughs> I, mean, I got. I need work some help. Is he a mechanic? No, no. He needs to have like an. Or is he the, like the an race car driver? Agents, is he a, needs some ad- moonlight? He needs a moonlight as a race car driver. Uh, something <clears> big. Some so seventies, seventies. He owns a discotheque. Ooh, no, maybe. He could own a, disco, he could own a, uh, a, a barber shop. A barber shop. A jacuzzi oh, store. Water bed sure. store. Oh, water beds. Sells water beds. Fried chicken house. I'd like to yeah. see him race. So, right. Like you can buy fried chicken. Get your disco dancing on and get a jacuzzi water. Yeah, he and needs he, to he race in bell bottoms. Yeah. He'll race. <laughs> he'll race in jorts. Yeah. Uh, he doesn't have much, but you know, <laughs> he doesn't he, have much. But what he has, he puts out there on the track. What he has, he puts they out there on the really track. They should really have like an off color, like. Well, cartoon. the mechanic would be the like the really like is the driver the straight man and the mechanic and the engineer like like the seventies guy is he the out there character to balance that like you have the balance. I don't know. I like that you Maybe. picked the 70s, though, so when they do show the racing sequences, like, the guys on pit road aren't, like, the athletes yeah. like they are now. They're, like, yeah. smoking a cigarette, yeah. going over the wall with no helmets. Yeah, it would be great. It would be great. Or you could just do, like, a complete, <laughs> like, it's, a, it's like, an A-team of, of people. You get, like, a disco guy with a big afro mm-hmm. with, from the 70s who's, like, just coming from the club. Yeah. yeah. And then you got a farmer mm-hmm. over here that is just is milking cows all day <laughs> and he's he's milking cows slinging out milk and slinging tires slinging tires and then you, you just got some other people you know so you got some characters yeah. basically i'm envisioning the wood brothers yeah pretty much yeah. you could base yeah. the show on the wood brothers with Loosely. throw in some uh you know yeah with Darryl a little Walsh with or, a little creative yeah. free, or creative freedom honestly <laughs> if you took like today. like stroke or ace yeah and made it a cartoon and made that a cartoon like yeah. if that was sort of your premise, mm-hmm. but you adjust the characters a little bit because I mean they had a lot of those elements in Stroke Race. They did, yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but this is the seventies, so I want the sex, the drugs, and the rock oh, and roll. We're just rewinding back because when we pick up Stroke Race, he is already a champ. Oh, That's but true. where does Stroke Race start? Where did he come from? Where Good did he come from? Point. He was home. An we're, ex, we're ex bass an player for ACBC <laughs> <laughs> for the mamas and the papas. <laughs> Who's the bass player for the mamas and the papas? That'd be funny. Yeah, that'd be good. That'd be good. We're, go. we're, I like it. Uh, we're good. brainstorming. Again, we're, we're an idea factory. With uh, green Here. needles. We yeah. were royalties yeah. NASCAR. I can't way. remember uh, the last invention we made up, but I forgot <laughs> to put it in my phone, and it pissed me off that we forgot about it. I'm going to have to go back Internet to world. videos. Internet world. Was it the happy camper dump or whatever? No, it was, it was past that. It was, it was like, like the fire suit ago. butt flap oh. thing. Oh. Like two or three weeks ago. It might have been the fire suit butt flap. I don't remember. It was the fire suit, like the pooping suit. Yeah, yeah. There was that, and there were a couple other ones. So, Internet World, mm-hmm. tweet us what our ideas were because we didn't write them down. Yeah, I forgot. Remind and I us. think you get like big time celebrities now that we're back. I'm um, go back to the yeah. NAS cartoons. 
you get like recognizable voice, like a Ryan yeah. Reynolds or that thing. I'm getting and John C. Riley. I think it helps. John C. John think, C. Riley. Yeah, I think it helps crossover. He does a lot of NASCAR work. He did Days of Thunder. He did yeah, Talladega I don't wanna, Nights. I don't wanna, I don't but wanna, I want his voice. Yeah, he has a good voice. I don't want to pigeonhole ourselves though. Yeah, and but, like, let's get all the guys that have played like. Do NASCAR you watch? Do you watch before. Adult Swim? Have you seen his? Uh, I think um, he's great. I love John C. Riley. Yeah, that's a weird show. That he has. <laughs> I've Check seen it out. A couple times. It's very Check weird. it out. What's the show? Uh, it's called Check It Out. <laughs> it's on. Uh, it's Check It Out with Doctor Steve Brule. Mm. Yeah, Steve Brule. Very yeah. strange. Very strange. I love it. That's why I want him to play a character. Gotcha. But you know what? Because we're out of time. Oh no, we are. We're getting, we're getting. We're getting out of time. We've got that minute thirty eight seconds. Oh yeah. So we can take the time to wrap it here. Uh, Labor Thank Day that. cookout. Mm-hmm. Uh, hopefully people enjoy. Uh, some watermelon. Yeah, some watermelon. Some, uh, some hot dogs. That stuff. The World 600 is coming up. World 600. It's 600 miles of racing. freedom. Of pure freedom. freedom. And real tornadoes. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be great. It's going to be a good good show. Good weekend. How many snacks do you eat in the car over 600 miles? I'll have a couple of Cliff Bars. Okay. Yeah, they're tasty. They're hard to eat. Yeah. Because like the, the helmet's kind of pressing your cheeks and you're like... <laughs> you need the goo, like the marathon yeah. goo. Yeah, but that'd be gross. Are they already open? Or are you like sitting there like... Uh, they, they cut the tops they off. Okay, off. yeah. You just... Gotcha. It's pretty convenient. I learned something today. I can only eat like... I probably only end up eating like, like one full one. Ooh, but if you get warm right away. They would have it on ice. <laughs> Put a chiller Or like in a there. milkshake. A milk... Ooh, milkshake. Oh, that would not make me... Oh, tell no. me feel good. You like the hummus PDF milkshake. With a thick straw. <laughs> Uh, hummus milkshakes are going to be delicious. Pretty disgusting. You can dip your flatbread in them, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just okay, do that while you're driving around have, like, the at gar- Charlotte Motor Speedway. Dip your uh, toast point. They don't have like the garlic breads. and the olive oil. It's literally the chickpeas and the, t- the tahini. Yeah. I don't sesame-y. know what either of those things are. So. But you know what? We'll find out more after you rate and review, subscribe, like, listen, do all that on the iTunes, on YouTube. And we'll recap the Hooters pageant next week. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Bring pictures. <laughs>